Viewers and subscribers, Wagwa. As you all know, this is Zion coming at you once again with another tutorial. I hope everybody is doing well, you know, in this crazy time and all. I want to make this one as quick as possible and as easy as possible for you guys. I won't go into details, you know, talking about the song because recently I did a tutorial on this song, Bob Marley's War. If you guys happen to miss that one, I'm going to leave a link for it somewhere up here for you guys. You know, I did that one on electric guitar. Let's break it down on acoustic guitar for all the thrills, duos, or probably you're a solo. Or probably you're just a person that, you know, happen to have a guitar putting down in the, you know, the corner. You haven't played it in months or whatever. You know what I mean? And you want to exercise those fingers a little bit. You know what I mean? I arranged this one where you can have a little bit of bass, you know, so it can sound musical, you know what I mean? If you're just tuning into my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and turn on all post notifications so whenever I post a new video, you will be alerted. You will get it, all right? Now let's get to business. Grab your guitars, let's go. Alright, so now that we are zoomed in, you know, I hope everybody can see, I'm trying to get the best angle and everything, the best lighting and everything, you know, I'm still in process of getting everything together for you guys, alright? Now, for this song, you're going to need a capo, you need one of this, alright, they come in different shapes, you know, at times, but these are super cheap, you know, I mean, you can get one for probably, probably the most expensive one will be $10, alright? It's not being lazy, it just makes the job easier sometimes, all right, at times. All right, so you want to bar the whole first fret with that, all right? So this automatically become the first fret right there, all right? Now this song, we're not going to call any cards right now because I don't want to get anybody confused. We can do that after. All right. So you go one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be your fifth fret right here. All right. So you bar the whole fifth fret. Then you place your ring finger on the seventh, on the, on the fifth string, seventh fret. All right. That's your first card. Your second card is one, two, three. Bar the whole third fret with your pointer finger. Place your middle finger on the third string, fourth fret, pinky finger, fourth string, fifth fret, ring finger, fifth string, fifth fret. All right. So you're moving from here. Now, at times, you're gonna lift the pinky finger. All right, that's your dominant, all right? So it's gonna be like this. And that's the reason why I bar this right there, that last note that you hear, you heard, go. This, okay? You want that last string to ring out like that. All right, so this is gonna be your bass. All right, this finger right here. All right, you're gonna put this to work. Now remember guys, the slower you go, the more effective and the better, all right? So don't try to rush it or anything like that. If you rush it, then you're gonna crash. <laughs> I can tell you that. It takes time, all right? Just to interrupt a little bit, folks, right here. If you look on your screen, you can see that I already started a Facebook group. The aim for this Facebook group is to get all my subscribers and all my viewers, of course, together where we are can, you know, come together and share ideas, you know, go live, help each other out. Basically, that's what I'm trying to, you know, acquire with this Facebook group. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down there where you guys can just go ahead and click and it will take you straight to the group. 
hit join and I'll accept. All right, see you there. So here we go. So we come back here and just to say, forget about that part. Let's not talk about any chords. All right, so you come back here. Now you want to hold the guitar like this. So these fingers are going to be pulling up. You're going to avoid this string right here, the, f the fifth string, all right? Place those fingers, the pointer finger, the middle finger, and that ring finger on the right hand, or whatever, all right, right there. So it's going to, you're going to be pulling up, and you're going to be striking down with the thumb, all right? So it's like this, all right? So pay attention, down with the thumb, up with the strumming, down with the thumb again, then everything together. So very slow, watch me. See that? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it ring out a little bit so you guys can hear. Hear that? Together. So one down, one up, one down, and then all together. And that's it for the first chord. Alright? Then you move back down here. Now, you're gonna hold that dominant. Remember, I told you to move the pinky finger. All right, so let's not work with the pinky finger just yet. Probably, we, probably we're not gonna work with the, the pinky finger at all. You know, so it's like hear that. This part is quite is very easy. So watch again. See that? Very easy right there. Right now, remember to get the feel. You do not want it to ring out too much. Well, it's you. If you're playing by yourself, probably you want it to ring a little bit. You know what I mean? To get that sound, you don't want it to sound too much. You don't want to have that. All right. So, but just enough. All right. So here we go again. All right. Now. At times, that, that's basically what plays throughout the song. But at times, you hear things like this. So it plays, open, close. So that's a thumb, open, then close, and play everything at the same time. Now this is what you're going to do. So that's the that ring finger right there at the fifth fifth fret fifth string then point of finger on the third fret fifth string then you want to jump you want to drop the on that point of finger to the, the string below and place that uh, middle finger on the third string fourth fret and you want to play those two only so it goes like this so then you open again with that last string so pay attention go again so you want to find some way to stop this from ringing out after you know there we go so you go see what I do is use my 
this thumb right here to mute it after. It's already muted if you hear it, so. Then you jump back here real quick. All right? Now you gotta listen to the song and you hear the changes. All right? You gotta listen to the song and you'll hear the changes. Now, also, you'll hear this one, uh, it goes like this. So now you wanna have that dominant hole again and you wanna play. Then the pinky finger works. See that? So here we go again. So, so open, close and pull everything at the same time, o open, then the pinky finger comes over to play one time, alright? See that? Alright? So that's at the fifth fret, the pinky finger is going to play that last string, fifth fret. So it's like this. Okay. So the last one, you're going to pull everything up, alright? But you want to stop this string from ringing out as early as you can, all right? See? So what I did to mute it, I'd start, when I get here, when I start moving here, I run the fingers on the last string there, all right? So here's the first one. Second one. Back here. Third one. All right. Now, before it gets to that run, when we say, everywhere is war, you know, he plays this. plays the four the, the fifth string he plays a fifth string of the second fret so that's two times all right then you want to jump all the way back up here to that minor seven all right so you hold that minor seven so here we go again So you hold that minor seven, so you want to play, it's like a power card. You want to play first two card strings. So that's the, the last, the sixth string and the fifth string. And you want to place that pinky finger on the, the eighth fret, sixth string, that's the last string. So it's, then you want to lift that pinky finger again. And you want to play just, just the fifth string. So here we go. Then below, at the fourth string again with the ring finger, you want to slide, all right, from the seven to the eight and back. So here we go. Again. All 
right now, i would sing but i did a gig last night and it took my voice you know it was a it was so good you know i had to keep singing you know when you get over excited and everything so i'm basically in the resting mood right now you know in that stage you know until the philosophy which all one race inferior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited you know something like that you know what i mean it takes time to play that and sing at the same time so as i say practice go slow do not pressure yourself if you feel as if you know it's getting you know it's overwhelming and everything just take it take a walk probably get some sleep you know it means the, you, you, your your fingers probably need you know a little bit of rest so let's go over it one more time slow and easy slow and easy <laughs> here we go all right now if you made it to the end of this tutorial it simply means that you are a loyal subscriber or a loyal viewer you know what i mean i do appreciate your time as promised i try to make it as easy as simple and as short as possible for you guys let me know how you feel about this tutorial put it down there in the comment section if you have a request put it down there remember my name zion from zion guitars do not forget to like comment share and most importantly do not forget to subscribe blessed love i'll see you next time